All thoughts in this review are based on a single theatrical viewing, and thus are subject to change at a later date. This review will contain full spoilers, consider yourselves warned. And as this is an opinion-based piece, your satisfaction in watching the video is not guaranteed. Okay, I've been sitting on this thing basically since the movie came out because I don't know how to feel about this film. Like with the trailer, my emotions are mixed. On the one hand, it was really good. And on the other hand, it was a complete letdown. Going back to my thoughts on the trailer, I have to say that a lot of my concerns were addressed positively. No, the film does not suck. It's beautifully animated as per usual. I liked Bo a lot. And all of the new characters, save the two carnival toys. Woody getting separated from the group actually turned out to be a genre-savvy move on his part, because he knows he can make it to the next stop, having done this so often now. Forky stopped being annoying before the first act was even over. The characters themselves are questioning why Forky can be like this, just as I was, and I even found his design endearing by the end. It's the smile, really. The whole thing of him accepting that he is a toy and being okay with this was also well handled and touching. I loved the Canadian Apexia Viva Knievel, and as a Canadian, the Yes We Canada joke is hilarious to me. Gabby Gabby was a great play on a twist villain, because she gets what she wants in Woody's voice box, but there is no malice in that action anymore at that point in the film, and her initially being rejected after finally attaining this state that she was so sure would make everything the way it's supposed to be is heartbreaking. And a really nice break from formula, at least for this franchise, if not for Disney as a whole, since the other films have straightforward villains who do not change over the course of this story, and Gabby does. But seriously, the antique toys don't sell? Well, clearly Ward Kimball never visited this shop. And so I've been mulling it over. If my concerns with the trailer were addressed positively, and an aspect like the villain twist worked well for once, along with other new characters, why don't I like this movie the more I think about it? I think it's really a combination of two things. One is the lower stakes, and stemming from that is the ending doesn't feel earned. It doesn't quite reach the epic scale of the other films. It feels like it has the stakes of the shorts. But it also has the biggest change of any of the films, and that's Woody leading the group. There's lower stakes in the fact that it really just is about getting Forky back to Bonnie, not unlike the first film. But since Bonnie is younger than Andy, there's less emotional weight for me as an audience member. Sure, Bonnie is sad, but she will get over it. She's even shown to do that with going from playing to Woody to leaving him in the closet. Andy was shown to miss Woody and does have some kind of connection to him above and beyond any of his other toys, even if we never learn what that is. So it isn't just about getting home to show the toys that Buzz isn't dead. There's emotional weight to this. And of course, there was all of the bonding between Woody and Buzz, Buzz accepting his status as a toy, and defeating Sid. And that in turn helps a lot of other toys, same as the third film. The Prospector has the more personal stakes of Gabby, but the second film also has the grand finale at the airport, while this one has a slow-moving RV and the same carnival we've been at the whole time. And it just doesn't feel quite as big. And it really kind of needs to be, because this is such a fundamental break, not just for Woody rethinking his whole worldview in terms of being a particular child's plaything, but also for what it means for the group, as you've essentially split them up into now two groups, if you potentially have any more shorts or films to follow. And I really think this needed more build-up around it, because as it is, I don't like it. It just feels so wrong. Yes, I know it's established that Bonnie will be okay without him, and never mind the gut punch of the third film's ending that this film even referenced, back to with the opening. And it is an extension of Woody as a dad figure, having now seen Andy to adulthood, he can focus on himself and his desires beyond that role. And there's effort to make that connection strong in the introduction. Just for me, it doesn't override the bond the toys share as a group. I'm also sorry that everyone else stays in the RV and gets nothing to do, really, especially in comparison to The Great Escape of the last film, where everyone was important to the plot. And I really liked seeing the group dynamic earlier in the film, before everyone got on the RV. I'd liked seeing Woody and Dolly struggling with the leadership role, with Woody wanting to assume it, because that's who he was as Andy's toy, and Dolly already having that role in Bonnie's room. 
I love that the first two films are really all about Woody and Buzz's bond with each other. I love that the third film left everyone in such a good place with fun content that got to come after it. I love all that so much more than Woody and Bo, and since I don't buy that leaving everything for her is worth it, I don't like the ending and subsequently where it leaves the characters for any projects beyond this. As I said, we now have two groups of toys, so you could potentially have more shorts or more films, but to me, continuing on past this point is just a reminder that a fundamental part of the team has been lost, and it will forever remain like this. And I don't like where it leaves everyone in comparison to the third film. So ultimately, I think this comes down to personal taste. It's a good film overall, it's just not for me. The events just don't get high enough for me to buy the game changer of Woody leaving, and thus the end of the experience leaves me hollow. So I'm going to do what fandom does best, take what I like and ignore the rest. I'm sticking with the trilogy and the shorts before this, and leaving this film for those who enjoyed it more than I did. But not to worry, Toy Story 4, as a good film that I don't like, you get to be with a very esteemed company. But what did you think? Did you like Woody leaving and the possibility of other films or shorts that could come from this development? Are Woody and Bo your OTP? Who was the best new character? Where do you think Gabby sits in the roles of villains with, for this franchise? Let's talk about all that and more in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.